Welcome to the ETAP Real-Time Enterprise Solutions 7.0 New Features Overview. The objectives of this presentation is to provide an overview of ETAP Real-Time for power systems and highlight the key features and benefits which were added to ETAP 7.0. For more detailed information on ETAP Real-Time, watch the ETAP Real-Time videos located under ETAP Training Webinars on our website, etap.com. First, let's start with the enhancements to the ETAP Real-Time System architecture. ETAP Real-Time Server now allows for central and distributed server redundancy. Centralized redundancy allows a standby server to automatically become active in case there is a failure to the primary active server. Distributed redundancy, also known as multi-site redundancy, Make sure there is an active server for each site. If there is one active server for multiple sites and the communication fails between each site, ETAP will automatically assign an active server for each site ensuring each site stays online. System model consistency ensures that the information being passed to the active server is also passed to the standby server so that no information is lost or unused if the active server is changed. Advanced monitoring has been enhanced to include the classification of areas, zones, and regions. Assign each bus to an area, zone, and region and ETAP will automatically classify each device connected to the bus. You can now easily verify and validate your system using the Enhanced State Estimation Comparator. Easily identify locations on your one line with alarming mismatches between the meter data and the SLE calculated data. One major benefit to ETAP Realtime is the integration with the ETAP analysis modules and the fact that your one line system is incorporated in the same database as your ETAP analysis data. Now, while in load flow, automatically make load flow calculations after each event. I can use another new time saving tool by double clicking on a breaker. ETAP opens or closes the breaker and automatically follows this event with a load flow calculation. Automatic generation control, known as AGC, maintains the frequency of a power distribution system and keeps tie line power close to the scheduled values. Scheduled values will be maintained by adjusting the megawatt outputs of the AGC generators so as to accommodate fluctuating load demands. The application will also calculate the required parameters to optimize the operation of the generation units under the AGC action. This powerful application is now enhanced to include a new functionality, load frequency control. Changes in energy demand or supply can be observed by measuring the system's frequency. With load frequency control, the operator can now keep the system's frequency as close as possible to the desired frequency. Another function added to AGC is interchange transaction scheduling. ITS provides the capability to schedule energy transfer from one control area to another while considering wheeling, scheduling, ancillary services, and financial tracking of energy transactions. Dedicated for electricity power exchange and scheduling, ITS incorporates energy scheduling, transaction management, and energy cost analysis and reporting. After AGC utilizes economic dispatch, LFC, and ITS to optimize and automate the generation levels, you can easily view the target set points and operating values in the all new AGC view. The AGC view organizes and displays the generators by area and allows you to easily see the total generation for each area as well as any spinning reserve. 
You can also access the new generator controller straight from AGC view. Double click the generator to access the controller and manually change the operating set points or the control modes. Energy Accounting EA, provides energy consumption and cost information for individual power system components or for the entire system. ETAP EA can track energy related costs based on user definable cost functions. The cost profit analysis and production consumption are reported for sources, loads, and interchange meters. Continuing on with our new 7.0 features, we come to load forecasting. Load forecasting has been enhanced by creating two new libraries for loading information. The pattern library allows you to create loading, temperature, and humidity patterns. These patterns can be saved with a pattern ID, which can be set and used for different days of the year. Go to the new load sector library and assign each day with a different or the same loading pattern. Set the temperature and humidity for each month and even assign patterns for holidays when there is an exception. When loading is forecasted, you can go to the training application to view the forecast. 